today I have a mini Hermes haul and unboxing to share with you. As you can see here, I have already opened some of the items here and here, which I have already started using, but I thought I would share the experience with you anyways. I have recently gone into the store to get a wedding gift for my best friend, uh, this one right here. Um, she is a fan of everything Hermes, so I thought I would get her something from the store. and. I walked out with a bunch of stuff for myself, which I think happens to a lot of us. Um, so why don't we start with the first item right here. This is something I got for myself, uh, which was totally an impulse purchase. It's a very small item. It's a hair accessory right here. So it's a hair band doll. Um, I have always liked the Hermes uh, hair accessories. They always have a little kind of French sheetness to it. They always get the cutter just right and they just look really really cute. Like last year they had these really pretty um, scrunchies, hair scrunchies with the toolies around them and they were sold out pretty much instantly. I couldn't get a hand on them. Um, so whenever I see hair accessories from Hermes that I like, I just grab them right away. And they are pretty reasonably priced as well, like this one right here, it's um, at 220 euros. If Chanel were to make something like this, I think they would charge at least five, six hundred euros for it. So at 220 euros, I think it's a pretty reasonable price. And I'll also insert some moss shots. Um, so you can see what it looks like. I just think they they make it really, really like to the point. Um, everything is just right. The cutter is just right. It's very French and it's just perfect for the summer. All right, so next up, I wanna show you what I got for my best friend. As I mentioned, she is um, a fan of everything Hermes but which also made it really difficult to get something for her because she already has everything that she wanted. I just felt like nothing I got for her would be super impressive. So when I saw this, I just thought that this was something special. It's really nicely made and it's not something that you just see a lot in the stores. Like I didn't even know they make this. So this, ladies and gentlemen is a ring box from ms so let me see how to open it i think it's probably from this side Ta-da! so it's a box to put your rings in so let me try mine for example And of course, you can put a lot more rings in them. And I thought this box was going to be much smaller um, because of the price. It's priced at 1,000 euros, roughly, I think 1,050 euros. And there was another one, um, a, a slightly bigger one that was 2,000 euros, which um, had the capacity for two watches and some random kind of uh, jewelry. Uh, space for it and this one is just for the rings and it's just really really well made I love touching it I just have to store this away and not touch it too much and I just want to say I really like this um, surface it's a lacquered wood um, I don't know how they make it but um, they it's basically wood but they um, apply um, a surface layer of treatment to the wood and it's super shiny uh, but the essay told me that it's going to be a little bit fragile just because of how shiny it is so you would have to be a little bit careful not to um, scratch it but I love touching this box I just think it's so well made it's very very MS Everything they make is just so well done and so nicely designed. I'm just very happy with it. And I think this is a very nice something to have and to remember. So I'm gonna put this back in 
so I don't, you know, put my fingerprints all over this box. Okay. Oh, I, and I just want to share this with you. So, um, like I said, the box is made of lacquered wood and they did include a little explanation of what that is. Um, here they say that it draws on the traditional artisanal technique whose origins lie in the depths of Asia and reach back to time immemorial. In Vietnam, a small group of passionate craftsmen preserve and perpetuate this know-how for MS. This craftsman fashion each object before carefully coating it with numerous layers of lacquer by hand for beautiful finish. It is no doubt a very, very beautiful finish. They are right. So I just wanted to share this with you um, in case you might consider one of these objects for your home. Um, okay, so what I want to share with you here is um, something I got myself as well. So I have been trying to hunt down uh, one of those slim wallets either constant slim or a ruler slim um, for myself but I haven't had any luck um, and just so, so you know uh, these small leather goods including the constant slim or really slim they are part of the small leather goods so you don't need an employment for them however they are usually uh, sold out. The only time that my essay called me, I went in like pretty much right away and she, all she had left was a constant slim in lizard. Um, I wasn't really looking for an exotic skin. I wanted something just pretty much basic. Um, I wasn't really into the lizard skin. Maybe some people are. I know it's really hard to find but for me it's such a small kind of glorified card holder it doesn't really warrant 4,000 euros for the lizard skin um, constant slim and she also had um, a Himalaya uh, constant slim um, to show me um, that day which I know maybe some people will really love it but I wasn't going to drop 8,000 euros for that Himalaya um, constant slim even though it was super beautiful so I had to turn it down so this time I went into the store and thought I, I would just ask anyways because there weren't that many people in the store. I thought maybe there was a chance and I also saw some uh, really slim on display in the color I liked. It was either Koi or Nara, um, really slim. I just fell in love with it because it was in Chef Mysore, so the gold skin leather which had a beautiful texture and just went very well with the light color um, really slim so I thought if they had this one I'm gonna get it so I asked the SA uh, if they had um, the really slim I didn't even ask for the constants because the really slim usually comes with softer leather like the chevre the constant slim usually comes in more uh, kind of hardy leather like Epsom so for me that was a no-brainer I just loved the chef leather so I just straight up asked for the really slim and he came out and he um, showed me this one so when he opened it and it popped out I was like oh it's just so beautiful like Basically, this is exactly the one I wanted. This is in the Nata color, so it's a little bit darker than the Cray. It had a, so the Nata has a, a little bit of a, I don't want to say yellowish, like maybe a little bit of golden sheen to it. The Cray would be a bit lighter. And the one on display was uh, with silver hardware, but this is with gold. And I just thought, I just, I have won the lottery like this is exactly what I wanted um, and this chef Mysore leather is just so beautiful I love this texture and when I saw this texture I was just like I have to get this like this is it like this is my really slim that I've been looking for 
um, and there's no no more struggle of what color I want and no more question of whether I want the constant slim or the really slim. I know the constant slim is more sought after because the constant is a quota bag and the resale value is obviously higher for the constant slim, but I like I don't think I'm going to sell this. This is just gorgeous. And I'm not gonna get the chef leather for the constant slim. And I just much prefer the chef leather to the Epsom leather. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you and stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you how I wear it. I have found the best way to wear this and I wanna share it with you. Okay, so first, I think the easiest way, if you don't have anything else, but I'm sure a lot of you have some silk scarves, you can totally just tie this to a silk scarf. So you have the tips here and you just put this through the belt loop. And then you tie it around here. So this is how it looks with the scarf. It's completely doable. It's very comfortable to wear um, because you're attaching it to the belt loop um, and not the inside. You're not adding any stress to the flaps, um, but it's going to depend on how your scarf is going with the rest of your outfit. If the scarf can be a part of your outfit, then this is a pretty cool way to wear um, the slim wallet. And of course, if you don't want to wear it with a silk scarf, um, what I found was the best way to wear it was to pair it with a chain. And I have found the best chain to wear this mini purse with. So here is a purse I got from Zara. It's really cheap. I think it's like 40 euros or something, but I love their chain. So this is a pretty solid um, kind of golden chain. It's not flimsy looking. It looks pretty solid and that's why I like it. Um, and it's got this hook here. It's completely detachable from the back and this hook is large enough which I'll tell you why in a minute why you need it to be large enough. So let's unhook this from the bag. And by the way, I will link this bag below in case any of you is looking for a chain like this. I mean, you can also get one of those conversion kits from um, Etsy or other kind of platforms. They are around, I think, 60 to 70 euros. But I don't always like the chain that comes with those conversion kits because many of the times they look kind of flimsy and the color is not kind of completely right or they just look kind of cheap. And also a lot of those conversion kits come with a little kind of car pouch that goes inside um, the, the slim wallet. So it's supposed to go inside here. Some of them, like the best ones would ideally go in here and it doesn't kind of come out easily so um, the pressure point is inside this um, card holder space the pressure point is not on this flap um, but uh, many of them don't actually go inside the slot um, not perfectly so many of them actually just go here like this is already a pretty pretty slim wallet like as you can see there isn't that much space it barely fits um, a lipstick, right? Um, in terms of the the depth, so you don't want to take take up any more space inside, and that's why I am going to wear it the way that I'm going to show you right now. So first of all, with this chain detached, right? You can. There are a few ways to wear it. The easiest is to just slide this. through the belt hoop and just attach it, right? And here you can just wear it crossbody. 
So now this is what it looks like with the chain tied to the belt loop. So look, this is what it's like at the back. Um, it's completely doable as well. It's going to look a little bit um, kind of diagonal, I think, just because of the way um, the belt loop is made. Um, but if you don't mind that, it's completely fine. And I like this chain because it's bigger. It's not like um, those really thin, flimsy chains. And with the thin ones, I think it's going to add stress to the side stitching here. All right, so let me just show you quickly what fits inside. Um, usually this little pouch here, I just don't use it because it's already a very compact, slim wallet. So I want to be able to fit the most I want inside. So most of the times I would just put a card, like you can put like credit cards or whatever, or ID cards inside one of these slots. And then um, keys, my keys are pretty bulky, so they already take up quite a bit of space. <laughs> but um, I think most people's keys are a little bit smaller, so that would help. Um, and then I would usually fit a lipstick or lip balm inside here vertically. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, if you have smaller keys, I'm sure you can fit something else inside. Like if my keys are not that bulky, I can definitely fit um, my AirPods in. And this can be just my keys. Um, but unfortunately, my keys are pretty big so if you want it to look slightly straight more straight on your body what i would use is a hair tie so you slide the hair tie through the belt hoop and there you go it just looks straighter on your body um, because like it just goes like this and like it's not on an angle all right so this is what it looks like um with the elastic the hair tie uh, added this is what it's like at the back so i think it looks similar to um when the chain is hooked to the belt loop but it just sits a little bit more straight um and it sits a little bit lower on my body so some people might prefer it this way and the last way i want to show you is with a trolley i will just show you how i tied the trolley very quickly so this is an another unused one um, so what i do is i stack it just half 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 and then i twist it right i twist it and then i put it in and find that opening i guess i twist it too well and here um take one end of the trolley and slide it through the opening so that you have basically um, two ends to tie the knot so tie, tie it once and then tie it twice to make it a dead knot and also it's sort of a sort of a bowl if you will so that it's kind of pretty then ta-da that's um that's how i tied it and then now you can put this on and here you go and what i like about um wearing it this way is that of course it's got a bit more color to it so you're embellishing your um, slim wallet and when you're pulling it you're really pulling on the silk scarf or the patchouli and you're not putting any 
kind of pressure on the leather. You're not ruining the leather. And here, it's a silk scarf, which is wrapped around the flap, so you're not really damaging the leather. So this is what it looks like with the twilly. I think the length is just perfect for crossbody. And when you open the flap, it's also pretty secure because the twilly is tied to the flap. These are my favorite ways to wear the slim wallet and I hope um, that was helpful to you. I will put the link below for um, the Zara bag which had this chain and I'm sure you can find a lot of bags out there with a chain like this um, and I just thought that the Zara bag was pretty inexpensive and it was um, a pretty good buy for this chain. All right, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much again. I'll see you soon.